Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I'm Laura Minigrod. I'm a certified instructor of Hand in Hand Parenting, and I'm here today um, with in conversation with Grace Fleming, my friend. <laughs> Yay. So, yes, I'm Grace, and um, I'm here too. <laughs> We're going to talk about long, long time ago because my son is uh, 26 and we had just one. Why don't you tell everybody how old your kids are, Laura? <laughs> I have um, three children, 15, 17, and 13, almost 13. Um, so also my birth story was a long time ago, but I'm um, really here to um, explore Grace's birth story, or we're going to talk together about what yeah. she experienced. Okay. Um, so I wanted to start by asking you if you had a birth plan and, and if it went the way you were expecting. Yeah. Um, so first of all, my husband and I were in Japan at that time temporarily. Um, and uh, we were lucky enough to find a midwife that many expat families uh, English-speaking families were going to. I'm bilingual, so um, I didn't absolutely need it, but it was definitely nice to have little booklets in both languages. And it was uh, the midwife was really, really a warm, wonderful person, and her staff of I think about three midwives, um, midwife assistants were um, drawn to her because of her genuine warmth and uh, people who went there both um, Japanese and non-Japanese uh, really wanted to have this down-to-earth experience mm -hmm. so um, I felt really lucky to have found her mm -hmm. um, and additionally because um, I have Issues around food and um, body image. <laughs> uh, I was lucky enough to find an English-speaking um, psychologist and hypnotherapist to help me. So we didn't have a really elaborate birth plan, but we had um, two resources that we relied on heavily. Hmm. Yeah. So it sounds really amazing. Um, would you like to tell a little bit more about um what you worked on with the hypnotherapist <laughs> sure um the main thing i wanted and i requested her is that she helped me with um both by body image because i was afraid of becoming this person that was 50 pounds overweight and stay that way <laughs> um but for my son, we I wanted connection. Um, I grew up with my siblings, my four other siblings, and I know we didn't feel connected to our parents. And I wanted a, a different experience for me as a mom and for my child um, as a baby. I wanted something completely different. And maybe I got pregnant in Japan because I was away from my, <laughs> my whole family. <laughs> so um, it was a safe place to have a baby. Um, my uh, hypnotherapist also worked on having a, um, a successful, um, smooth birth. She said she couldn't um, guarantee a painless birth. <laughs> And and that you know it wasn't necessarily a good idea. You you needed to know what was going on. So um, we worked on that. Yeah. yeah. So tell us the story of what happened when the, on the day your son was born. <laughs> okay. So I've been having false contractions for I think about four weeks. <laughs> But on that day, we had the biggest snowstorm in six years to hit mm -hmm. Tokyo. And um, when we got close to the midwife's house in a taxi, the snow was so heavy that um, he had to drop me off like 
a hundred or two hundred feet away from the, <laughs> the house, and I had to walk through the snow <laughs> with contractions oh. having, yeah, happening, happening, and carrying my bag because my husband's like, "Okay, I want to take photos." <laughs> oh. He like gave me this bag to carry. <laughs> Oh, oh my go. gosh! When I got, yeah, right. It, may, it might, might have helped, you know. And then when I got there, it's like, okay, go up this really steep stairs <laughs> to the second floor to the birthing room. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god! <laughs> what else? Do you yeah. Do? <laughs> but um, from the point where I stumbled into the house <laughs> to when Bo was born was about four hours. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Everything went very quickly mm-hmm. and um, he came so quickly that um, we did, well, it quickly. So the midwife said, okay, call me when you feel like pushing. But mm-hmm. by the time, I didn't feel like pushing because that's was part of the hypnotherapy. So my body was on auto drive doing the pushing at the right time. (laughs) So by the time, um, I think my husband noticed that he was crowning. (laughs) And then he called the midwife who was one floor above or below. And uh, she came running (laughs) up or down the stairs and uh, no time to get the assistance there. (laughs) So... uh, there was just four of us yeah (laughs) well yeah Mm. yeah so that was um I I, like I said it wasn't painless because I had a back birth you know yeah um um but you know I don't have to say that to the new moms out there they all know about like ah (laughs) um but it was a, a very beautiful time it was quiet in Tokyo which never happened. And uh, 24 hours after he was born, the biggest earthquake in in Tokyo hit, um, biggest earthquake in six years hit Tokyo. So um, yeah, um, it was an exciting time. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Wow. But ask Mm -hmm. me about the connection part. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, so it sounds like you you were in a place where you could stay close and do you want to tell us a little bit more about the connection yeah yeah Yeah. so um i had known from another friend of mine who a canadian friend who had her first child in tokyo and she said oh my gosh it's so luxurious you get to stay a whole week in the Mm -hmm. hospital and they'll bring the baby when you want the baby (laughs) Mm -hmm. they feed you and so I knew that I was going to stay there for a whole week. Um, mm. And because of the snow and because um, there weren't very many, there was no other moms having a baby at that time. There was a mom who had been there a week and she was allowed to stay longer because she was a single mom. And um, this midwife and her assistant said, you know, she she's going to go home to a, a place with, no support you know no family nobody so we're just going to let her stay you know that that's how this place was run um just on a need basis and not okay you know she paid for seven days and now she's kicked out Mm -hmm. anyway so um my husband was allowed to stay for two nights and uh the three of us just like slept right next to each other on a futon on the tatami in this beautiful Japanese room <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> with filtered light <laughs> from the shoji. And uh, they they gave us really, really good food. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, so um, the, being able to um, sleep and be, there was like no time that we were away from our son because mm-hmm. he just opened the panel door and there was the room where he got weighed you know or where they tested him for reflexes or whatever Mm. and uh, the bath I mean it's like it was all on the you know in an area that was smaller than 50 feet by 50 feet (laughs) Mm. so very very uh, warm and connected and uh you know, when the earthquake happened um, 24 hours after he was born, there he was, and I covered him with my body, you know, on my fours, and my husband just 
did the same thing above me. So we were like these three layers of, um, you know, two layers of protection over my son. Yeah. Oh, so that's how it started. And you know what? That was 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Such a lovely, I love that image. Mm. So I can't wait to hear more of the story. So in our next episode, we'll talk more about your experience as an early parent. Thank you. Yes. All right. All right, everybody. Looking Bye. forward to the next one. Bye.